Akshay, uh, tell me uh, something about you. Yeah. So, uh, I have done my bachelor's in electronics and telecommunications in 2015, and I have overall five years of experience in the as of now. And first year, like initial first year, I had uh, experience in the telecom and IT uh, networking domain where I used to interact with the end customer for the network related issues and fixing the net network related issues like fiber optic network and uh, switching and router configuration. Uh, later on, I worked on the Tata Communication as an associate engineer where I used to maintain the fiber optic network for the uh, media service. And uh, along with that, I used to prepare daily, weekly and monthly report for the uh, case management purpose or case auditing purpose to improve the performance of, of the process. So where I used to prepare a Tableau dashboard and uh, later on, I got chance to work with Orgenza technology as a data analyst so currently i am working in the same organization and here i closely work with the finance team and the sales team to fix order related issues like enterprise agreement related issues where uh, they continuously work with the end customer to renew their existing purchase and if they have any issue they found any discrepancy between the data and uh, invoices then they consolidate all the requirement and come with us for support so we do validation of the customer financial purchase and once it is approved if let's say they have certain exception or dispute on existing order then we work with the finance team for approval and once it is approved then I do the manual changes in ad hoc report ad hoc report in the sense it is something like uh, invoicing uh, the report where customer can see the total purchase and total invoice amount what they have to pay and yeah on, on day to day basis uh, we, I work with the stakeholders and in customers to resolve their queries and uh, on the top of it I also uh, prepare the matrix report where uh, we track our cases we, we try to identify what kind of issues are majoritarily coming in into the queue and uh, you know how we can reduce the total SLA and how we can improve the performance, overall team performance like that. Okay, uh, uh, currently uh, what are you doing? Uh, I am doing the analytics, analytics part mostly in my current organization. Uh, so you are basically uh, uh, based at Pune uh, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, in Pune only. You are at Pune? Yeah. Uh, uh, Akshay, uh, uh, for technical part, mm -hmm. I will connect uh, someone from uh, IT team who okay. will uh, access your uh, uh, technical part. Okay. But uh, before that, I want to clear something. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you have uh, any idea about Bajaj Finance? Uh, yeah, it is financial. It provides the finance service like uh, since 2005 I am tracking the stock market of Bajaj Finance. So there are lots of investment is there in Bajaj Finance where they provide the loan to the consumer to buy certain goods and they in the terms of EMI they pay back and uh, it is financial service basically. So. In fact, uh, I'm, I'm not totally sure like what kind of other business the Bajaj do have, but uh, as of what, as of my understanding, this is what they are doing in finance services. Yes, yes but you are partially correct. Yeah. Bajaj Finance uh, provides uh, financial services yeah. like uh, loans and uh, others. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this profile is for uh, data analysis for our collection part. Okay. You, you heard about you heard about collection. Yeah, collection part is like uh, to to make or to every, maintain every, the every, financial. Every, every financial organization, every financial organization have a collection. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Department. To to maintain uh, the to revenue collect, and the collections. Uh, to collect payment from the default customers. Okay. So for these activities, we need. Uh, certain uh, data analysis, certain dashboard making, uh, this is the basic requirements. Got it, got it. Okay. So, uh, 
तो इन बजाज फाइनेंस आई आई वांट टू क्लियर वन थिंग इन बजाज फाइनेंस वी डोंट हैव एनी टाइम बॉडी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू विल सिलेक्टेड इफ यू विल सिलेक्ट फॉर दिस केस फॉर दिस प्रोफाइल देन there will not be any time barring for if if required we have to do 12 hours in a day if required if not required then it is fine if required uh, we can work 12 hours in a day we uh, may work 7 days in a week if required if there is no requirement it is not uh, no one will uh, tell you but if there is a there is some requirement we have to do in best that way got is it okay with you yeah is it, it is okay with you completely fine with okay. me because in in my current role also i do sometime i work in pstrs and in isdrs also it's up to the target if it is completed then uh, eventually all need easy life so i completely understand with this challenge Uh, second question when can you join uh within 30 days like my last working day is 21st of january and what is your current ctc 4.6 lakh per annum what is your expectation i am expecting at least 10 lakh per annum okay uh, akshay mm-hmm. now i am connecting our uh, person from uh, uh, it department uh, just hold on okay okay Uh, Ronak, yeah. Ronak, Akshay is here for an interview. Please uh, ask him as per your requirement. Sure. Hello, Akshay. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good, Ronak. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. So uh, mainly, I will be uh, just asking you for giving a brief introduction about yourself first. Mm-hmm. so just brief introduction where you are uh, which project you are working and how sql is good at and what are the roles and responsibilities yeah yeah so actually i have total 5 years of experience and out of this uh, since last 4 year i am working as a data analyst in uh, zensa technology so here i closely work with the finance team and the sales team to fix the data related issue in financial data so here i get the requirement from the sales team let's say they have certain issues like they are not able to find certain records into the ad hoc report then they share the way border id or uh, customer id with me or sometime they come up with different criteria like uh, product id or something somewhere else so i just collect the requirement and uh, write the sql query uh, i use the multiple joins or if not needed then i mostly use the sub queries or where condition where i can uh, retrieve the relevant data from the oracle database and once i receive that data i do validation with the stakeholders and sales team whether they are going to check look up for the same data or something else so once it is confirmed then i manually add that records into the uh, ad hoc report where uh, total accurate invoice been calculated and customer can you know will be pay for for the and uh, along with this uh, i also work mm-hmm. on tableau dashboard where uh, let's say if in customer is facing certain issues or let's say if they have consumed something more but they are not able to see the that records into the dashboard so again i check the web border ids or the relevant data and if once it is confirmed then i work with the it team to update that dashboard that records into the tableau server and oracle database also okay so uh, you manage end to ends like uh, building the data models and uh, extracting mm-hmm. the data after that uh, data you only make the dashboard or visualization yeah the stakeholders yeah i i use a extracted one uh, it team is also involved in this entire operation like but we cover partial part of it because we also dealing with the in customer and some manual ad hoc reports so that into in task is divided in between us and the it team so we do open with the collab with the it team for if needed certain issue, for certain issues okay so uh, as you have mainly said that you are uh, uh, 
four years of experience mainly into SQL working in a dashboard visualization. So yes, do sir. you have knowledge in Power BI as well? Uh, no, I'm learning the Power BI, but uh, okay. I'm not very familiar with the practical projects like. So let's say uh, we have uh, a data in one table where there is an ID mm -hmm. and there is one 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 uh, written in that record and there is another table there is also one one one. Mm -hmm. So when we uh, use left join, what will be the result? Uh, it will perform the cross join like m into n like uh, three into three. Uh, we will return the the query will return the nine records. Exactly right. So uh, can you just give me the difference between uh, uh, like uh, where condition, having condition and when we use group by? So what are the combination? What is the sequencing? Yeah, yeah. So first we can use the select, after select uh, segment, we can use the where condition if needed. And uh, after where we can use group by and uh, group by, order by. And uh, once we use where condition, we cannot use having immediately after where we can use order by or group by uh, later on we can use having because having and where expects the or condition once we applied any condition where we cannot immediately use having it will return the error so having will come after the group by or, or order by so how much amount of data you have handled like can you uh, just give me the amount where volume of data like uh, experience so it's hard to say but uh, 10 to 15 thousand of soft lines I had handled so it is hard to yeah. say like orally but uh, yeah I have experience on high amount it take it took too much time to validate but uh, uh, not sure like uh, what is expected yeah. to be okay so uh, let's say uh, I want a data on a daily basis, so I want to make a tableau dashboard mm -hmm. where data yes. will be coming on daily basis. So how we will write in SQL where it can be managed where whether I want to write a dynamic or hard coded you will be writing. Uh, we can do a dynamic mm -hmm. set condition in the tableau dashboard itself, uh, that tableau worksheet where once the data is updated from the backend, it will change or it will reflect into the final dashboard and uh, another thing is like uh, we can use the uh, re report scheduler where once the we can fix the time like it's at particular time the dashboard will update automatically whenever we need we can change that time and check and uh, yeah the dynamic set will work in this situation so have you uh, like uh, uh, have you written stored procedure as well so let's say we have a job and a specific set of queries. So, how do you write that stored procedure? Do you have experience in that? Uh, I, theoretically, I know how to write it, but uh, practically, I have not used to be honest. But uh, it is a set of code where we can repeatedly call within SQL query if needed. Whenever we need that particular set of instructions or data, then we can call that stored procedure in our SQL query once we return. Uh, it is uh, something equivalent to the f writing the function in the another language like we can call it in SQL query. So can you just tell me the difference between union and union all? Uh, union will return the uh, records from top to bottom. Uh, it will include all the duplicate records also. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I think in union we will not, it query will not return the duplicate record but if we use union all uh, it will return the duplicate records also or also uh, if we have the two different queries and we want a single output from the two different queries like from first one is from first query and uh, bottom record from the second query then we can use union and return the we can get the output okay so have you used subqueries nested queries you know about <coughs> nested queries yeah right. yes so uh, let's say uh, uh, we have like duplicate records uh, in our data, data mm -hmm. set. So how do you remove or remove the duplicacy? Uh, in main query, we will uh, uh, write the delete statement, delete and condition. Yes. From in sub query, uh, we will apply the condition where if count is greater than two or rank is equal to two uh, mm -hmm. count of rank, then it will return the duplicate record in sub query. And as a main query have a delete instruction, then it will delete that record from the data set. Okay, okay. 
And what about schema? Have you uh, have you like uh, built a data structure where you have like from your own you have built that data will be flowing like this particular thing which will be there. So have you done that schema? Uh, in practice, I have done like defining the data. Let's <coughs> see, uh, defining the database and uh, creating table. So in, while doing the or learning the SQL, I have done but in live project. I didn't get chance to do that. Part. Okay. Let's say uh, we have uh, one field mm -hmm. uh, like a, uh, some. Let's say uh, it's a customer ID. Okay. Customer ID data type is in int, and in another table, customer ID whose data type is in variable. So okay. how we use join in that condition? What? How you can change that into variable? Uh, where can? Where? The ID is same, but the data type is different. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we can do uh, alter table where we can change. The, I, I'm not sure. Just I'm just uh, trying to. Yes, yes, yes. So okay. we can do alter and change the data type of that particular attribute, and we can use a where condition while performing joining where one equal to one. Then we can you know return query will return all the records. Or what we, if uh, we can't enter the table? Uh, like uh, data is coming from the source end, and we have, don't have any permission to change the data type. Mm -hmm. In that case, what will you do? Okay, okay. So in that case, we can. Do we have permission to update column? Like update column data? No, there is no permission. You just read. You can just read the data, not write. And you can just view the data and perform the extraction. Okay. So this query will return the error, but uh, I need to check for this like thing. No, no, no worries. Yeah. Actually, we use casting for that. Okay, casting. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Okay, I'll make a note of like I will check yeah. the casting option. No worries. Uh, next question and uh, this last question. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the difference between delete, drop, and truncate? Delete will uh, delete all the entire records from the table. Okay. Or uh, we can delete the table also. Uh, truncate will remove entire data sets from the table. Like it will uh, okay. field will remain in the data set, I think, and only the uh, entire data from the table will go away in the truncate. So which option is better, delete, drop, or truncate? Okay, so do you work on live or extract? So can you just give me the difference between live and extract? Yeah, yeah. so live is like uh, the Tableau dashboard connects connect with the live connection is like it is directly connects with the uh, server, let's say Oracle server or SFDC or CRM server, whatever it may be. So it takes time to load the data, uh, face the queries and load the dashboard, find the dashboard in live connection. But in extract, the Tableau servers stores the data sets within the tableau memory so that whenever needed it quickly loads the dashboard and we can immediately see the uh, final dashboard it takes it takes low time compared to live connection okay so which is better extract or live uh, it again depends on the requirement in extract if we are splitting the uh, uh, automation part then extract one is, is the best better one okay 